Yo, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Big K. You the kid. And hit or miss, man. Now check this out, right? I've been watching a lot of YouTube, right? And I've been seeing a lot of content creators that do food reviews. You know, they come to the city of Philadelphia and they always want to review the cheese steaks. Now, mind you, how can you trust anybody's word as to what's the best cheese steak in Philadelphia when they not even from Philadelphia? They don't even know what a Philly cheese steak really is. They can go to Subway, get a cheese steak, they'll call that a cheese steak. Uh, Jersey Mike's. They go to any one of these chains and, and get a cheese steak, and they think they got a real cheese steak, right? So I, my thing is this: How the hell can you get a real accurate, you know, opinion on a fire cheese steak from somebody that ain't from Philly that don't even know what they're looking for? Let me break down what a cheese steak really is, man. Cheese steak, it's that good sirloin. Yeah, you know I mean beef sliced thin, chopped finely. Not not minced meat fine, but you know, chopped up good. You know, the slabs and all that of the meat that that came from Pats and Genos and stuff like that. But real cheese steaks, the meat is chopped with onions, man. Now your fixings, what you put on it is is, is totally up to you. You know what I mean, fried peppers, onions cooked in or without. You know what I mean, not cooked in. You know, whatever fixings you want on it, you put on it. But at the end of the day. It was always on a regular Amoroso roll, unseated, long roll, plain Jane, nothing fancy, no seeds, no sarcone, no, none of these new age fancy rolls was what an authentic Philly cheesesteak was made on, you know what I mean, and how it was produced and made. So like I said, I'm about to show y'all what real Philly cheesesteaks are, man. So it's going to be a, a, a hit or miss, you know, because the spots I'm going to be going to, they fire, you know. It's all opinionated as to who you feel as though is the best cheesesteaks in the city. But, you know, I'm going to stand on what I like. And to my taste buds, it's always been Max's. You know what I mean? Max's has always been consistent. You know, we had Pagano's. Pagano's was fire, too. You know what I mean, especially Pagano's that was down there on uh, 9th and Girard. That was my spot. You know what I mean, the Pagano's, I liked it. It's Larry's now. But, um, yeah, man. So, it's going to be a, a, a little tour. I'm not going all around everywhere. I'm just going to go to a few spots and grab a cheesesteak and show y'all what real good, authentic Philly cheesesteaks look like and taste like, man. You know what I mean? Don't believe anything you hear from these out-of-towners that come in and don't know what they're looking for. They don't know. Take it from a true, born and raised Philadelphian, Philly native. You know what I mean? Or what a real cheesesteak look like and tastes like and what you should be looking for. Stay tuned, man. And the first cheesesteak, actually, I'm getting delivered to me. It just so happens. You know, I could I ain't had to go out to get this one. This one coming to me. And it's from my favorite spot, Max's. So when that thing get here, I'ma tap back in with y'all and show y'all, you know what I mean, what the Max's is hitting for. Peace. So right from the jump, as you can see, this is what you wanna see, man. This is what you wanna see. Right off the jump. This is what you wanna see. Sloppiness. Sloppiness. Th this is what you want to say. Sloppiness. That's what you really want to say. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm, I'm, I'm indulging to this chicken. This chicken cheese steak. But I'm just showing y'all, you know... Showing y'all what these things supposed to look like. When you're getting it from a top cheesesteak spot. When you're getting it from a top cheesesteak spot, 
you're supposed to expect to get dirty. Expect for your hands not to be able to be utilized. Like I said, that's what you should expect to see. Now, hold on. This is a regular plain Jane. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Regular plain Jane. This is for the kids. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't indulging this now. If I, if I was to get mine, it was going to have anything on it. Like the chicken cheese steak. But like I said, this is what you want to see, man. This is what you want to see. Chopped up cheese steak. Now, grab this. Now this thing is super, you know, super sloppy and messy. Super sloppy and messy. But see, it has anything on it. So. As you can see, this is the chicken cheese steak. You know, you don't think this joint had for something. I don't know what to tell you. But hold on, I'm about to tell you right now. Never disappoints. Max's has always been, in my opinion, the best spot, the best cheesesteak spot in the city. Like I said, for years, they've been consistent in holding it down and they're not stopping anytime soon. And they're not stopping anytime soon. And just look, let me, let me get an acting real quick. Hold on, y'all. Look, y'all see that? This is no exaggeration, man. Look. This is no capping, man. This is no capping. They pack it on there. They pack it on. And the flavor is A1. It's A1, man. Telling you. Mm -hmm. You come in the Philly, you want a real great, authentic. Philly cheesesteak or chicken cheesesteak, Max's, German Chandler Erie. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Now, I, now I told you, there's a lot of great cheesesteak spots. This is my favorite spot. This is mine and a lot of other people. But this is what, like I was saying, let me show y'all the rule. Pay attention to the rule. No seeds on here. Soft, fresh. Like, there's nothing wrong with the sarcone rolls and the cedar rolls. There's nothing wrong with it. It's innovation. All I'm saying is, the real cheesesteak, this is how it was made. And this is why Max's is always going to be number one, because they, they stood to the essence. They didn't deviate away. They didn't deviate away. So, this is just round one. Told you I got other spots I'm going to check out, but this just is this just the first, you know, of many other cheese steak spots I'm going to introduce y'all to and pitch y'all on to. Yeah, you know I mean, so do me a favor, smack that like button, man. I'm not going out today to go get another one. This is enough. I'm gonna be content with this, but um, like I said, throughout this, all these next few videos are going to strictly be about cheese steaks, just to show y'all. 
You know what I mean? It's not going to be too many, man, because I, I grew up eating cheesesteaks, man. So it's like I'm not going to be eating them all day long every day. But I am going to show y'all some hidden spots. Smash that like button. Stay tapped in. Peace.